Are you guys ready for an old school comic book haul video? I haven't done one of these since my haul and vlog days. That's gonna be at least over two years ago. Well, maybe a year and a half, but sadly Stephanie's not here to show off these books with me. But guys, I've been saving books that I've been picking up like the end of February all through March and I got some really good books. I got two mystery boxes from the 616 Comics and they actually sent me a box of giveaways for you guys. So stick around to the end of the video to check out those books. And guys, this is just gonna be a fun, casual video. So if you wanna see what books that I've been picking up lately that are not my monthly previews, stick around right after this. All right guys, like I said at the beginning, this is a haul video. This is just me showing off some books that I've picked up over the last like month and a half. There's some really cool books. I'll talk about where I picked them up, why I picked them up, and guys, there are some really good deals to be found out there as long as you're patient and willing to do a little digging online. All right guys, so first thing that we're gonna show off are my mystery boxes that I picked up from the 616 Comics Whatnot Sales that they do every single Friday at 7 p.m. Now they do this in a really cool way in my opinion. They show you two books at the start of each auction. Now book number one will go in box A and book number two will go in box B. Those are the guaranteed books and those are the books that you are trying to score. So the first auction that I did I actually did not know that. I thought they were randomly going to give you either box A or box B. So the first book I don't really love but it's okay. It was a great experience and I only spent $42 on this mystery box and I got some really good books. So the first one up is this book right here which is Web of Venom, Wraith number one. This is actually signed by Donny Cates. It's a really cool book, and you know what? I like Donny Cates a lot, and maybe this will go in a giveaway, or maybe I'll sell it online. Who cares? I got this for really, really cheap. After that, in the mystery box came up Daredevil issue number seven. This is a Tyler Kirkham exclusive. Pretty cool cover. I'm not a huge Tyler Kirkham fan, but you know what? It was free in a mystery box, or I guess it's technically not free because I spent money on it, but that's okay. And after that, we have an awesome Venom issue number five done by Gabriel Del Otto. Who doesn't love Gabriel Del Otto? And this Venom cover is fire. And also, we have Extreme Carnage Alpha number one. This is the John Boy Myers B variant. There is a C where the blue is actually, I think, orange or red, but this is pretty cool. You get Agent Venom on the front. It's a cool cover, and John Boy Myers is a pretty cool artist. Next up in the box was Avengers X-Men Eternal Judgment Day Omega number one, the David Nakiyama variant. This is gorgeous Psylocke cover. It's really cool. This might stay in the PC or it might go in a giveaway or maybe I'll try to sell it online. Who knows? Try to recoup some of those costs from the $42. And after that, we have Spider-Man number one, the In Huckley Virgin exclusive variant. Now this is obviously homaging Amazing Fantasy number 15, the first appearance of Spider-Man. It's pretty cool. It's a nice cover. I like it. And after that, the final book that was in the mystery box is this one right here. Catwoman number 47, the Nathan Zerdy exclusive. That was the first mystery box I picked up, I believe at the end of February. There were some pretty cool books in there, but I think a lot of those are gonna go in giveaways for you guys. I just promised myself I would check out the 616 Comics whatnot sale that they do every single Friday, and I picked up a box for, again, for only $42. And their Patreon mystery box goes for 53 or 55, something like that. Now this next mystery box that I picked up, my best friend Josh was actually in from out of town. And we split this mystery box because I had a feeling this box was going to go more than $50 and that's all I wanted to spend on it. So we split this and this mystery box came to 70 But the reason why I wanted this mystery box was this book right here. Now this is Miles Morales Spider-Man number one, the most recent run. Now this is the 1 in 100 Oliver Copel cover. I absolutely love Oliver Copel. I think he's a fantastic artist and this is such a gorgeous cover in my opinion. A 1 in 100 is also an awesome ratio variant to have. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this cover? Guys, let me know down in the comments below. But we spent a total of $70 on this mystery box and we just split it down the middle. But I told Josh I would only take two of the books out of all of them. So this next book was the last book that I'm keeping from this mystery box and it is this cover right here. It's gorgeous. It's Poison Ivy number nine, the Carla Cohen exclusive variant. Now there, I believe there is a foil of this. So this is the technically the B cover, but again, it's Gorgeous, I love this cover a lot. Now the rest of these books I'm not keeping. I'm gonna give to my friend Josh because this is what he spent his $35 on. And this is Briar number one by Zoe Lachey, I wanna say that is. Um, an exclusive from 616 Comics. 
It's pretty nice, and Briar is a really cool book. And after that, hello again! We got Avengers X-Men Eternal Judgment Day Omega number one, the David Nakayama Virgin. And after that, we have Star Wars Obi-Wan, the trade dress done by David Nakayama. Again, an exclusive from 616 Comics. And the last box in, uh, the last book in the mystery box is this Midnight Suns number one, the David Nakayama Virgin. Now this was the cover A, but the exclusive Virgin was done through 616 Comics. Now that is the last mystery box that I have to show to you guys. This next batch of books are going to be the books that I picked up on Midtown Comics, MyComicShop.com, Gmart, just different places other than, you know, the 616 Comics. Alright guys, first up is actually a book that I picked up for Cole. So Cole, over at Cole's Comics Claims, I will send this to you shortly. But this is a really, really cool Peach Momoko Sketch Virgin variant. I believe this is the 1 in 25, but this is the Chimerian Frost Giant's Daughter, number one, the cover H. I believe this is the 1 in 25 or maybe the 1 in 50, but I got this on Midtown Comics as they were having a 70% off sale on their back issues. So this is a gorgeous cover that I got at a dirt cheap price. And next up, I have this Joker Annual number one. It's an awesome Dan Hip cover. Again, I believe this is a 1 in 25 that I got from maybe $6, $4, something like that on that 70% off Midtown Comics sale. It was so cool. I'm collecting all these Dan Hip covers that he did uh, over at DC Comics. I just think they're so freaking cool. And guess what? We got another one. Now this is for Punchline, the Gotham game, number two, the one in 25. Again, I think I spent $5 on this, maybe even less. Guys, if I can find the receipt for this, I'll put all the numbers up on the screen. But again, this is from that Midtown Comics 70% off sale. Oh, this is a gorgeous book. Now, this is Black Cape number one, the cover F, the Virgin variant. I believe this is a one in 10. Maybe it was a one in 15, something like that. But this is um, a nudie cover. So this is a not safe for work, technically, because you can see some boobs in it. But I really, really like this book. It's by Stephanie Phillips. It's a great murder mystery story involving, like, you know, other types of creatures than just humans. It's really freaking cool. Now this next book, I actually got a steal on. So this is uh, Death of Superman, the 30th anniversary special. This is the cover H. This is a Francisco Matina. Uh, I believe this is the one in 50, or maybe it's the one in 25, but I got it for eight bucks, I think. And it's a foil variant of Doomsday holding the ripped cape. Gorgeous book. Again, a great steal over that Midtown Comics 70% off sale. All right, guys, next up is an awesome Dan Hip cover that I got from mycomicshop.com. I think the next few books are all from mycomicshop.com. And the cool thing, if you do your previews orders through them, you can actually piggyback your shipment cost on your weekly shipments so that way I didn't spend anything for shipping on this. I only paid for the books and a little bit of, you know, New York State tax. All right, guys, and this is Wildcats issue number four, the cover C. This is the one in 25, an awesome Dan Hip cover. I really, really like this. Um, and after that, we have this cover right here, which is the third printing of Once Upon a Time at the End of the World. It's such a great book, and I really, really like this cover. I think it's gorgeous, but if you guys are not reading this book, you definitely should be checking it out. And Next up, we have this amazing Deja Thor's number one virgin variant. I believe this is the cover N. Um, and this is a little bit of a bummer. It has some spine ticks along the edge. But again, I think I spent $3 on this in total because it is a um, very fair and not a near mint copy. But guys, come on. How? I'm sorry about the glare. How could I not get this book? It's so gorgeous. All right, guys. Next up, and these next two books are actually a connecting cover set that I got from the 616 comics. And now, I, this is not part of a mystery boxes it's just a sale they had on their website and i absolutely love these covers i'm gonna see if i can hold them up together wow bam so this one right here is vampirella strikes number 10 616 comics exclusive and this one over here is unbreakable red sonia number four now both of these are done by ben cadwell and these are the valentine's day Virgin variants. Oh, they're so gorgeous. Now, since there is a little bit of glare, maybe I'll put the covers up on screen um, that I can download the pictures offline so you guys can get a better look at them. But these covers are so good. So good. Ben Cadwell crushed these covers. I absolutely love them. That's why I picked those up. Now this next book right here actually came in my monthly shipments. It was one of my cover lover picks. And this is Poison Ivy number 10. I believe this is the Josh Middleton variant. I just gotta show this off. Now this is not the foil one in 25 or one in 50. This is just a regular cover B or C, but come on, this is gorgeous. 
Um, again, Poison Ivy number 10, the Jenny Frizen. This came in my monthly shipments. Now this book right here is actually the awesome, um, I believe this is the one in 10, um, Shadow or Spider Gwen, Shadow Clones number one, or maybe this is just a B cover, but this is an awesome Peach Moko design variant that I think I spent $4 on because they was on sale for some reason. And the last book, before we get into the giveaways, is this awesome Peach Ramoko X23 number one, or X23 Deadly Regenesis uh, number one. This is just such a cool cover that I got in my monthly previous box. But guys, that is everything before the giveaways. All right guys, it is time to finally show off the giveaway books. Now this box right here was sent to me from John from the 616 Comics to give to you guys. Now I'm not gonna give away all these books at once. That would be crazy. I'm probably gonna give these away slowly over time to people who watch these videos. And make sure you guys are tuning in to every single video on the channel because I'm probably gonna do at least one giveaway a week. So make sure you guys are checking out. Maybe I'll do one in every single video until I run out of books, I don't know. But I'm probably gonna take this batch of books, mix it with other books that I've gotten in the mystery boxes that I don't want, and I'll probably pull out a couple books, maybe two, maybe three if you guys are lucky, and I'll put them in a giveaway. So the first drawing is going to be on next week's Wednesday pull list video. That's probably going to drop on either Monday or Tuesday, so make sure you guys are leaving, leaving a comment down below letting me know if you guys have ever been to the 616 Comics and purchased one of their amazing exclusives. And if you guys haven't, Go to the website, check them out. But guys, that's all you gotta do for this first giveaway is leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys have been to the 616 Comics or not. In the future, they're probably gonna be a little more involved. I'm probably gonna force you guys to go over to the 616 Comics Instagram. Make sure you guys are subscribed, checking out their website, and you guys gotta be subscribed to the channel. But guys, this first giveaway is gonna be easy peasy. Leave a comment, let me know if you guys have been to the 616 Comics website or not. Again, link to their website is down in the description below. All right guys, let's go ahead and show off these books. So the first book I got is this one right here, Harley Quinn, number 25, the Carla Cohen trade dress exclusive. But he also followed that with the B version, which is the virgin variant with this awesome pink background. But then he followed that up with the foil. That's right, it's even super shiny. It's even showing so much of the reflection. I can see the camera right there. But guys, these covers are absolutely gorgeous. And then after that, we have Harley Quinn number 23. I believe this is the Nathan Zerdy trade dress cover. Really cool book. But after that, oh, my books are out of order. Is this one right here? This is the Tiago de Silver Harley Quinn issue number 26, the trade dress. Really cool book. Oh, but do we have the Virgin? We sure do with the Virgin. But do we have the foil? We do have the foil. It's such a cool cover. This is gonna go to one lucky guy or girl or subscriber, mainly, hopefully a subscriber. But after that, we have this one right here. This is Batman issue number 132, I wanna say. Is it 132? Yes, 132, the Nathan Zerdy trade dress. But if we're gonna follow the pattern, we do have this one right here, which is the cover B, the Virgin, which is such a better cover. I love how you can see all the cartoons and their tattoos on her legs through her ripped costume. So gorgeous. Now, this book right here, John, I'm probably gonna be honest with you, I'm probably not gonna give this book away. I'll probably slide in something else in replacement and keep this one for my PC. I'm sorry, John. But guys, this is the foil version of this cover. It is so gorgeous. I love this book so, so much, but don't worry, I'll replace it with something probably even better. But guys, those are all the books on this haul video. This is the last of the giveaway books, but guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of content. Maybe I'll do one of these every couple months because I am picking up some other books besides my previous orders because that's really where I spent a bulk of my money. I just happened to have a little extra money last month and a half that I spent on other books. I had a lot of fun buying those books. And guys, what you guys really need to do to find some good sales is to just look out for the 70% off, the 60% off from Midtown Comics, My Comic Shop, Gmart, Follow those websites. Make sure you guys are getting emails from those websites so that way you guys can know about the sales. But guys, that is my haul video. I have nothing else for you guys. I just wanted to do this, to show off some of these cool books that I've been picking up. And yeah, just talk about the 616 comics some more because they are such a cool store and cool website and John's so nice. And oh yeah, giveaway. So make sure you guys are leaving a comment down below letting me know if you guys have been to the 616 comics website. And if you haven't, guys, go to it. Check it out. So many good stuff over there and yeah, 
that's really gonna be it. But the giveaway will happen probably on Tuesday or Wednesday. No, Tuesday, Tuesday. That's when my Wednesday pull list video drops. So make sure you guys are tuning into that to find out if you won. You only got a few days, so make sure you guys are doing it. All right, guys, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.